So this is the old program. This program here was for the conveyor. So it's going to be very similar. Limit switch, hit the start, motor's turning, let go of the limit switch. Here, it's still turning. I hit the limit switch on the, on the right, starts a timer. After the timer is finished, activates the output, maintains. I can let go of this limit switch, which deactivates the timer, which deactivates this contact. Now it's going on the left. I hit the left limit switch and it stops. Now, what I said was I'm gonna start a brand new one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop communication. I'm gonna enter a brand new. This is what, these are the steps to start a brand new project. So I'm gonna click no here, I'm not gonna save. What we're gonna to have to do eventually is we're gonna to have to choose the communication port, the name, the name, let's, uh, we'll put drill press here. The CP2E is not the one we have. We have the CPM1A. So we'd have to click this guy here. Okay. Now we have, we have to be able to communicate, go to settings. If you go to driver, these are all things you're gonna have to do eventually when you get to school. So COM3 is fine. I'm gonna press okay, press okay. That's to configure at the very beginning. So now what I want to do is I want to write down or, or put in my contact. So I'm going to start with a normally open contact here. This normally open contact was the limit switch. My limit switch, if I don't remember the address, the upper limit switch is this guy here. So if I look at the address in my PLC right now, I have 09. So 0.09. If, when I press enter, it's going to prompt me for a name. So I'm going to put down limit switch. High, that's the higher limit switch. Here, I'm gonna put the start push button. My start push button is my 00, .00 which is my start. Is everyone following so far? We're good? Yeah. Press my start. So I have limit switch, I have start, then I wanna activate an output, and the output is my motor, which is 10.00, .00. press enter, I'll name this down. I want to go down. Okay. And, and now I'm going to maintain. I'm going to just take one step at a time. Okay. I'm going to go logically. So I'm going to maintain here with 10.00. Press OK. It's down. But we know that we can't maintain this way here. We have to maintain both because when it starts going down, I'm going to lose this limit switch here. You always have to think in order. So now I know that if I hit the limit switch and start, I'm going to start going down. But when am I going to stop going down? When you hit the so limit although switch. I don't have a stop push button, I have to put something that will actually stop it from going down, which is going to be my limit switch low. And if I activate my input here on PLC, it's 10. So 00 0.10. And this is my limit switch low. Press OK. That's my first network. My second network, so I'm gonna go step by step. So notice here, I'm choosing normally open, normally closed, and my outputs. That's really what I'm using mostly. And then eventually to communicate and to download, once I'm communicating, these ones here will open up to download and run the program. So my Sorry, second, Carter, second Carter. network. Why did you put your limit switch high to 0 0.09, not 0 0.1? Guys, just for this video, cause I'm gonna post this video, just we'll comment at the very end, okay? So here, this contact here, what we're going to do is we're going to put the limit switch low, which is 0 0.09. So when I hit the bottom limit switch, what has to happen? I know that when I hit the bottom limit switch, I have to activate 10.01, which is my reverse, okay, which is up. You're making a little mistake. You said LSH09, uh, you're mistaking uh... The limit switches, I think. Let's just continue. Whatever mistakes, we'll correct along the way. Okay? It doesn't matter. So I have limit switch high. When I, ha when I have limit switch... Now I know what you mean. Yes. Yeah. I thought you were talking about up here. This guy here has got to be 0 0.10. So when I hit the limit switch low, I have to start going up. But I know that I have to maintain. So let's just put a maintain here. How do I maintain 
okay? This is a maintain. So I'm going up. As soon as I hit the limit switch, I start going up and I deactivate my down. But I know that this is on right now. Something has to deactivate it. What has to deactivate this guy? When I reach the upper limit switch. So here I'm gonna have the upper limit switch, which is my 0 0.09, okay? So right now, what have I done? Limit switch high, the very beginning, plus start activates an output. This output is linked to my motor going down. If my motor is going down, it's gonna eventually hit the limit switch low. When it hits the limit switch low, I'm gonna deactivate my down. I'm gonna activate my up, which maintains. Now it's going up. When it hits the upper limit switch, it stops. And the other part here is when do I want the drill to turn? Well, I want the drill to turn when I'm going down and when I'm going up. So now I'm gonna click, put these two in parallel and the output, my drill, I'm just gonna put a light here. I'm gonna put 10.03, uh, okay? So we're gonna download it and see what happens. I'm gonna click on this little icon here, which opens up a port for communication or communication port. It'll tell you if you have certain errors, not all errors. Oh, failed to connect. Uh, connect the PLC. See, oh, there's one thing that I forgot to do. We have two PLCs that we're, that we're using. What we have to do is choose the correct one. Remember when I talked about CPU 10 and CPU 20? We have both. But the 10 is the one that we're going to wire up, which has less inputs and outputs. The one I have right now is a CPU 20. So you have to have the right one, otherwise it won't be able to communicate. So we'll see if it communicates now. Now we're communicating, but that doesn't mean it can see what I have here. I have to download. So I'm gonna to transfer to PLC. So what I have on my computer right now is gonna be stored in the PLC. So just basically you're agreeing to everything here. Yes, okay, yes, okay. And then, well, here automatically went to monitor because that's what I said. It asked me the last question is, do you wanna go in monitor mode? Monitor mode basically is you can go to program mode where you can program, but I wanna run it. So I'm gonna go to monitor mode. So let's see if this works. Remember it's a drill press and you have your up and down here. Hopefully, uh, because I, the way this is wired up, right now there's no mechanical interlock between up and down. Hopefully there's not an issue and it's not gonna blow my, uh, the breaker. We'll try. Limit switch, have a look at the screen here. When I activate my limit switch, this guy here is closed. I'm in the upper position. I'm gonna press start. All right. I'm pressing start, which means that it's coming down. Look, my yellow light, I said was my drill. My drill is turning. When I let go of the limit switch, it has to continue. Right now the machine is going down and it's drilling. When I press the lower limit switch here, when I activate this lower limit switch, it's gonna deactivate my down and it's gonna activate my up, all right? I don't know if you heard that, but the contactor is transferred. It was my up and now it's, sorry, it was my down, now it's going up. But as it's going up, I'm gonna let go of this limit switch. It has to continue to go up. And as it continues to go up, the drill is still turning until it hits the upper limit switch, which turns everything off. So that's the actual program, right? That's, that's the whole thing.